Hello, Sister Ella here, Salesian sister. Well, today I really must speak to you about the feast day, of, uh, the birthday of our very first sister, Saint Maria Domenica Mazzarello. The 9th of May is her birthday. Um, Maria was born in the north of Italy in a very, very small place called Mornese. Her father was a tenant farmer. He didn't own the land, but he worked it and they had vineyards. And his best helper, his best worker was Maria. She could beat all the men and she worked very, very hard. But the whole area was was faced with a terrible epidemic. Something like we're experiencing in the world just now, it's a pandemic. But this one was an epidemic of typhoid, a terrible illness. And uh, Maria's family, uh, her uncle's uh, family, were smitten with this. And she went to nurse them, although she had the fear that she herself which contract the illness, indeed she did. And although she nursed her, her relatives back to health, she herself was actually dying for months on end. And she never really recovered the robust health that she'd once enjoyed. Now she was a very, a very good girl and she didn't quite know what to do now with her life. It was certainly she couldn't work in the fields the way she had done before. But she was not beaten by this terrible convalescence that she was going through and could have been a depression. She wasn't, wasn't beaten by it and she decided to become an apprentice to the local tailor. And she and her friend, their whole idea was to learn how to sew it well themselves so that they could teach the youngsters, the young girls of the village, but also teach them about the love of God because that was really what was uppermost in Maria's mind and in her heart. She wanted to serve the Lord. And they were successful. She was some woman because there she was in her mid-twenties, an entrepreneur running her own business in an age when women did not do that sort of thing. And you know, she could read, her dad had taught her how to read, but she couldn't write. And there she was uh, running her own place. So she was a wonderful woman and things were going very well. St. John Bosco brought his boys on holiday to that area. And he was very friendly with a priest there who actually became a Salesian and um, he introduced Don Bosco to this group of, of young women. Now, Don Bosco knew that he ought to do something for girls. Our Lady had told him to. Our Lady, in one of his dreams, told him, girls are also my children. And people, even the Pope, had encouraged him to work for girls the way he worked for boys. And we've just had the feast of Dominic Savio, who was one of Don Bosco's boys, became a saint, Saint Dominic Savio, his feast on the 6th of May. So we've just celebrated that. Anyway, Maria went on and with her work, but Don Bosco watched over that group of girls for nine years. He took his time and they were guided by this Salesian who was there in the actual town, uh, Don Pestarino. And eventually Don Bosco put it to these women, would you be my sisters? I want to have a sister order to look after girls the way I look after boys. And they said, yes. And on the 5th of August, 1872, the first sisters made their vows. Don Bosco gave them a special name Daughters of Mary, Help of Christians. And that's why the sisters, that's why we have FMA at the bottom of our cross. And that's what we put after our name, because 
um, FME um, are the letters that begin Daughters of Mary Help of Christians in Italian. But we're better known as Salesian Sisters. And today, over 11,000 Salesian Sisters work in 97 countries all over the world, in every continent. And that's what Maria did. After an epidemic, who knows what wonderful things perhaps you are going to do or someone belonging to you are going to do after this terrible pandemic which is um, affecting our world just now. Let's think of those words of Jesus. You have not chosen me. I have chosen you that you will go out and bear fruit, fruit that will last.